Professor Wiley, this is Adam Torma, U number 94665103. This is my submission for Microprocessors Lab. I have here built two circuits. The one on the right is a traffic light circuit, and the one on the left is an ohm meter circuit. The ohm meter circuit works by sending the one of the pins on the microprocessor to high, charging up this capacitor with a known value, then setting that output to zero and measuring how long it takes to go from 5 volts to low 1.4 volts. Knowing this time and the value of the capacitor, we could calculate the value of the resistor, thus creating a crude form of an ohm meter. I am now going to load the ohm meter program into the microprocessor. I've got three resistors here to be placed under test. The first one I'm going to put in has the color code orange, black, red, gold. This represents a 3K resistor. I place it in the circuit, I come over to the display, and I see it's about 3K. This is within the tolerance of plus or minus 5%. I'll remove this resistor, and I'll place a different one in with the color code brown, black, orange. This is a 10K resistor. NK resistor in place. I'm now going to observe the results. Excuse me. That wasn't brown, black, orange. That was brown, green, orange, which is actually 15K, which is showing up correctly. Now I will place the orange or the brown black orange resistor. This one is 10K. We come to the computer and we can see the output is going to be about 10K. And again, this is within the tolerance or plus or minus 5%. I'm now going to load the traffic light program into the microprocessor. As you can see here, I've simulated an intersection with two traffic lights. One that are perpendicular to each other. So obviously one's going to have a green light, the other one's going to have a red light. I've got two sensors, so when a car pulls up to the red light, it's going to signal to the traffic light to change. Now it's going to stay in this state even though cars are still flowing demonstrated by clicking the sensor the lights are going to stay the same. They will not change until the other intersection receives an input from another car and then they will change appropriately. Again you'll see that car is flowing do not affect the traffic light until the adjacent intersection has a car at it. Professor Wiley, thank you again for allowing me to do this. This is my microprocessors lab project. My name is Adam Torma. My U number is 94665103. Have a good day.